Hey guys, Darren here with a box review of 1991 Pacific Plus, and I'm reviewing uh, all three boxes. I think there are only three different types. So this is the, uh, the Jumbo Pack box. This is the regular pack box. They look the same on the front, pretty much on the side. There's a slight difference with where Dan Marino's at. And then there's also uh, Series 2, which is an actual Series 2. It's not a high level, which was part of the reason I wanted to get it. But the main thing was I wanted to see the inserts that were in, in the packs or the relevance of ending up with an insert. So to start off, um, the uh, the cards for um, for this this year, uh, I've I've been these have grown on me. There the card design is it's an okay card design, pretty decent. But at the time when I first discovered these cards, I wasn't all that enamored with them. But I have I have gotten uh, grown, grown to appreciate them more. They are cards with a glossy surface, and then the back is a matte finish, and that's good for the the insert. And I did get an insert. This is the silver Pacific Picks the Pros of Morton Anderson. And it's in perfect shape because the because of the, the surface here on the back, that means that when this these cards do not at all stick together. That's that's the, the beauty of, of these cards for these inserts. 1992 was a different matter, but in 1991 none of the cards got stuck together because they didn't uh, they couldn't. The wrappers in 91, and this they ha this uh, occurred in 92 a bit too. It's weird, it's got this, this strange, um, I get, almost like a vacuum seal. Uh, it's got ridges on it, which is always kind of weird to me, but that's the way the packs are. But I, I wanted to open them to get, to see about the inserts, and I only got one in the insert, which is similar to what I, I got back in the day when I was collecting these. I got, I don't think I ever got a single one of these in a pack, which means for 91, this would be my first one from a pack. I'm pretty sure that's the case. But they're very rare in boxes, unfortunately for me. And I got one in the, um, in the jumbo box, which actually has more cards, not in the regular box. Um, as far as the, the set goes, I, neither box got me to a set. The, the jumbo box here, which is the doubles, um, this got me really close to a set. I was still missing about 50, 40 to 50 cards. I can't remember where it was right now, but I got a lot of doubles and some triples as well. So, um, so as you go through, you run into, let's see. Yeah, so here we're getting into some triples. So I got, or yeah, triples. So here's Andre Reed. I got three of them. Bruce Smith got three. Daryl Talley got two. And uh, Will Wilford, two. Uh, Jeff Wright, two. I got, so in the jumbo boxes, I got a lot of doubles and triples. And so that, that prevented me from getting to a regular set because of that. However, in the regular box, I got, I did not get any doubles at all. I got, all um, I got as close to a set as I possibly could and so I basically pulled cards out of the jumbo box to fill out the set and between two boxes I got within one card of a set so this is the the transition point from one set to the other Simon Fletcher is the only player that I did not get in in either box so the uh, for, for two boxes to get me basically to a set with the number of cards in the set because it's a 550 card set yeah I'm okay with that it's, that's uh, that's not too bad um, it, what I liked was the fact that when I got one box it was you could actually see the collation pattern in it so the regular box just gets you straight as close to a set as possible and for a set like this where it doesn't have any really special cards in it um, that works. That's what you're trying to do. You're just trying to get a set, basically. And so it, it functions perfectly like that. The Jumbo had a lot more doubles and triples, so that was a different affair. And in that case, I was disappointed I didn't get as close to a, uh, any closer to a set than I did. But I got, um, I got every single card, like I said, except for um, Simon Fletcher. And in the doubles, I did okay. I got Michael Irvin, Elway, Barry Sanders, Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, two Jerry Rices, and Steve Young. So I did not get a second Emmett Smith. Um, I the Dan Marino I um, I got in the jumbo, not in the regular, because I remember moving that over from one to the other. Um, other than that, for the most part, I did pretty well with with the doubles. 
but I'm surprised that I am missing at least the two, Marino and, and Emmett Smith, when you consider how many doubles I have, but this doesn't get me anywhere close to a, a second set. This is missing over 100 cards from a second set, so I'm a long ways away from it. But the Series 2, I didn't remember if it was a straight Series 2 or like a high level. And it was a straight Series 2, which is interesting because the card set itself is a... Uh, yeah, it's a 110 card set. And as such, that means that with the number of packs, I got three complete sets. And then I got... Um, I got uh, three packs worth of doubles. So the collation in the Series 2 was ridiculous because what I did was I pulled all four piles out of, uh, all four stacks out and lined them up. And then I started opening them and I, I realized that there was a whole pattern. As you go through one deck and into the next group and the next group, you, that doesn't really work. But if you, you there's a pattern where the, the same pack will show up in all four packs. And if you open them at the same time, you basically get the same pack, same pack, same pack. I mean, the whole collation, every single card in that pack is the same. So the here's the way to think of it. 10 cards per pack. There are 110 cards in the set. That means there are 11 different individual packs that all have a particular array of cards in them. And that's always the same. So whatever pack my Kroll is in, all of the, the corresponding uh, players show up in that. So like, like here, this is two packs. So every time that I got a Kenny Walker, I also got a John Flanagan. And I think Ronnie Lott showed up in that pack and then maybe Wesley Carroll. And it was that way all the way through. So technically, this is something to keep aware of. For the, uh, for the Series 2 packs, of which this is one, it is possible if the box has already been opened, it is possible for somebody to have gone, gone in, figured out the pattern, found where both Brett Favre and where Ed McCaffrey were at, pull those packs out and then reseed the box. It is possible if the box is already opened that you may find that it, it's those cards have been pilfered because you can see the pattern. So for me, the pattern was advantageous because I was able to open the packs and then basically you've got 11 different options. And so it's, it's a really wide array of piles, but you got a pile of one, two and three, all the same numbers. You set next to it, there are the next numbers, the next numbers, and you can basically lay it all out and then just collate together your set off of that, which is, it was an interesting process for me to go through because I put the set together in no time. It was easy. And in the, in the high level, or in the series two, there are four cards, well, three cards of note, but Herman Moore is kind of like a minor star. So it does have one of the, the Brett Favre rookie cards. There are only a couple of, of um, Favre rookies that were created. So this is one of them. And then it has one of the even more rare Ed McCaffrey rookies and Aeneas Williams. Those are the three of note. They do not have Ricky Waters in this, this set. So I don't know why he didn't make the set. And in series one, there are uh, a number of rookies toward the end, at the end, and then some are seated in elsewhere. Um, none of those rookies are are of anyone note of note. So you have Browning Nagel, and you have um, Dan McGuire. And you, you know you have you have players like that. Um, so series two is where all the all the notable rookies show up in. And the boxes are expensive, but th that's understandable because when you get a box, you actually get three complete sets. Of, of all the cards in the set. So this is, um, it, it was amazing how efficient it was. It is possible that you may only get like two if the collation doesn't line up right. I guess that's possible. And it's, uh, what I found was three packs out of the 11 were, uh, were uh, quadruples, which means that there's a good chance that you may end up with a fourth Brett Favre or a fourth Ed McCaffrey. But if you get one box, you're getting three of these. It's almost a guarantee that that's gonna happen. I don't know if there are any inserts for that, but I know that for the main set, they have the, uh, the silver and the gold. And the silver is for the jumbos, the gold is for the regular packs. So that's the way those, those work. Um, other than that, this really is a case of putting together the set. The cards do look pretty good. Um, I, I was never a fan of it, but I've, I've grown, the cards have grown on me. But do note, this is a very common thing to have this, um, this off cut on these cards. That is, it, it's almost kind of uh, standard that you should expect with the cards. 
and there are a lot a lot of errors in this and I did notice that the errors I was showing up with some of some different errors between the regular uh, the regular and the jumbo boxes so but I haven't gone through and found out if I've gotten any of the rare cards I know that I don't have any of the rare inserts or rare error cards but it'd be good to know but it two boxes did get me basically one complete set I'm just missing one that's that's uh, pretty minor um, so at least it's not like Upper Deck at the time where you had to buy like six or seven boxes to complete a set. This, this is much better. And I do like the fact that the regular releases, not the jumbos, but the regular releases didn't have any doubles. So that got me as close to a complete set as I, I could possibly get. Um, other than that, that's basically about all there is. Uh, it's kind of neat and the cards the cards do look uh, do look nice and so it's fun to it's fun to look at these cards I, I'll say that they don't stand out but they look really good overall so uh, yeah that's that's kind of my uh, kind of my take on it so thank you guys for watching